Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rechak Kodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Well, peace and salutation, all sincere Achim. Now, they're, of course, doing the work in all truth and sincerity, and, of course, risking their lives and their freedom day in and day out. So, of course, present their body as a living sacrifice unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. To you, say Shalom. Of course, Yahweh is the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world even calls God, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world even calls Jesus Christ, by Hashem meaning, and the name Racham meaning Spirit, Kodash is holy. I'm a brother Moffat from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, the city of Philadelphia. Coming again with our slock, another lesson to Spirit and Power, Yahweh Shai. So, you yeah, have it here. The book of Hebrews 2 and 3, or 2 and 8 actually, Slach, um, visited, which um, originally was done. Now I'm just going to revisit the subject again, which uh, was through a request to an elder of the camp. So going into the actual scripture, because uh, this originally was just brought up because a particular individual... Um, went into the scripture and it was uh wasn't broken down properly, so I just went and broke it down properly due to precepts and such, which uh, I'm basically just gonna revisit it. So uh, the book of Hebrews, the second chapter. All right, going to the eighth verse. All right, so this is the the question, the verse that which is in question so hebrews 2 and 8 it says thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet for in that he put all in subjection under him he left nothing that is put under him but now we see not yet all things put under him which in the original video i of course uh corrected what was said by the particular individual which I and of course corrected him in saying that this was talking about Yahweh Shai all right thou has put, put all things in subjection under his feet for and that he put all in subjection under him and of course um, what was of course uh, put all right, under what subjection, which means under rule. All right, this is given on to Yahweh Shai by the Father Yahweh. Now, of course, it later explains it when you read the rest of the verses. But just to precept it, I'm gonna go to let's see, uh, I'm gonna go to the book of Colossians, the first chapter. <laughs> And I'm going to go down to the point and just making this just quick and to the point. Right. So it says here, Colossians 1 and 15, it says, Who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature? That's Yahweh Shai. For by him all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him and he is before all things and by him all things consist and he is the head of the body the church who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence, which when you go into the word for preeminence, it goes back to the Greek. It's the Greek word for preeminence is pro to yell, yao, all right. Let me see if I can check the pronunciation on the blue letter dot com. Strong G forty four oh nine. 
Pro tuo. All right. Pro tuo. Pro tuo, which that means to be first. Hold the first place. That's the preeminence, all right? To be in first place, all right? Simple. A chut. Now, which a chut means one. All right, uh, I could check what first means, but I'll do that at a later time. And it reads on, uh, For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And, um, let me see. Uh, <laughs> of course, you know, we know that Yahweh, uh, Yahweh, of course, is pleased with the work that Yahweh Shai has done. All right. He died, of course. Yahweh Shai died for the nation of Israel, first for the elect. All right. And because of that, of course, um, all, of course, has been given onto the son, Yahweh Shai. And, of course, he's waiting to fully establish the kingdom of Israel. All right. So uh, I'm going to go to another scripture. This is Psalms 110 and 1. And it reads here. Psalms. A psalm of Dawadar David, the Lord, Yahweh said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Alright, and this of course is talking about Yahweh Shai. Alright, this is um being um uh, we having the Lord said unto to my Lord. And that's speaking of course uh about uh King David, all right. Right, it says the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, all right, which his Lord will be what? The the Lord of course of uh you have it um King David, all right. Okay, he knew that his um actual uh his son Yahweh Shai was, uh, of course, his Lord, all right? Which reads, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool, all right? It's in the spirit world, okay? Which Yahweh Shai is, of course, waiting until he get the green light, all right? Given into, uh, by, or given by Yahweh the Most High, all right? Um, yeah, and, uh, I mean, that, that, of course, is a bit, it could be a bit deep, you know, going into, you know, re regeneration, reincarnation and such, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that real, just real simple and plain, you know, um, let me see. Let me see there's if there's any other precepts that I wanted to bring out. Um Yeah, that's basically it. I'm not gonna go anymore. Um That's basically it. I, I mean anymore I you know, I'll maybe do an even another lesson, but that's it for this time. Um you know, this was just brought up by Akim uh in the camp and uh just wanted to revisit it. Uh, as the scriptures say, let all things be done decently in order. All right. And uh, I'm just going to bring out this other book, uh, the book of Hebrews 13 and 18. It says, pray for us, for we trust we have a good conscience and all things willing to live honestly. And it says, but I beseech you the rather to do this, that I may be restored to you the sooner. Now, the power of peace that brought again from death our Lord Yahweh Shai, that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting co covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will. All right, we have to understand that, you know, we're, we're after the will of Yahweh Shem Yahshai and not of our own will. All right, so I would say Yahweh Ratzazah. All right. 
We're nothing but I body him our servants to our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. Alright. It says, Working in you that which is pleasing in his sight through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Aman. Alright, so you know, we have to understand that, you know, we when we do things we have to do it in decent decency and order. Alright, and you know, um, you know, we're being made perfect, you know, through Yahweh Shai. And of course we want to be made uh perfect and be seen blameless and righteous in the day of the coming of Yahweh what Yahweh Shai Slach. Alright? Cause there's gonna be a lot of judgment and we of course don't wanna be part of that. Alright, and we of course wanna if we do go off and you know, do can't handle things, you know, improperly, we wanna of course do them in a proper fashion, okay? Decency in order, simple as that. And um I mean that that says a lot, you know. It does. I mean it takes a lot of humility and of course putting down of course uh pride and your feelings, emotions, all right. So, uh, you know, I mean, another random scripture I got here is, uh, you're the spirit, Proverbs 13. And it says, uh, 10, it says, only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. Right. You know, so you have it where. You know, there when you have pride there, you of course you're gonna have that that contention. You know, you're gonna have that. Uh, let me see. When I when I, I want to definitely go into looking up the word con, 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 contention real quick. So just one second. Let me just pull it up. Slot. So I you want to make it this long. Proverbs 13 chapter, and I gave out the verse 10. Okay. Alright, so we have for contention, yeah, you have just strife debate, alright, which you have mataza, or matazaha, or mataza, mataza, which you have strife, contention, quarrel, alright, and such. So only by pride cometh, alright, you have strife. All right, and quarrels and such, you know, that happens with having, of course, what, pride and such. One party may have a pride. Two can have pride and such. All right, but, you know, whatever it might be, you want to, of course, not be pro. You want to be doing things in righteousness, simple as that. But with the well advised is wisdom, all right, in which we know that, you know, it's right to do things in decency and order, all right? <laughs> It has here also, it says, he loveth, he, in Proverbs 17 and 19, it says, he loveth transgression that loveth strife. And he that exalteth his gate seeketh destruction. Right. Which, um, now when you go into, see, you go into your gate. <laughs> I would say your mouth, but slot. Let me see. Yeah, uh, you have it. You got the opening of doorway. All right. All right. <laughs> Not really gonna go into that really right now. Um, but I mean that. That's it. You know. I mean. Basically, if you love and sin and such, you're going to, of course, love, of course, uh, strife, all right? You know? And you have to beware because, you know, if you, you, you all into quarrels and debates and such, I mean, it could bring up a lot of different things, all right? And, of course, uh, cause you to go off in unrighteousness. Simple as that. Call all you like, y'all. By Shema Shai, by Shema Kodash, and the Blanche, that was the Apostle that agreed. Millstone, Shalom to the. Of course, Akim that are sincerely doing this work and truth and sincerity shall along.